Welcome to Samsung Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today, today we shall become something better than a human, but also something worse than a human at the same time. We are going to become a god and also an animal. We're going to be playing Fantastic Creatures. This is a beta version of the game and big thank you to the developer for giving it to me so that i can play it here for you and this is a very interesting game first of all we can pick the god that we're gonna be so we can be the vermilion bird from the south comes the vermilion bird an aggressive creature not afraid to fight in order to conquer all units receive a 25 percent attack bonus unique unit be funk a flying fire creature or we can be the white tiger from the west comes the white tiger, a strong creature ready to rule the land. Resource extraction is more efficient. Unique unit Tau T that can extract resources located on a deposit. Ooh. So in my test play, I was playing as the black tortoise. All units have plus one movement. Unique unit base that can reveal a large zone around him. From the north comes the black tortoise, a furious creature ready to explore the land. Or we can be the Azure Dragon. From the east comes the Azure Dragon, a ferocious creature that wants to expand and has an appetite for fragments. Such than an extra three fragments. That is huge. Unique unit is Shiazi. Shiazi can generate fragments. Ooh, we gotta go with this. Is a, like three fragments is huge. So we're gonna start the game. And uh, we're not gonna go for a tutorial. So what happens in the beginning is that we are a god, but unfortunately we lost our material body. Uh, well, actually I can read for you. Your consciousness awakens without any memory. You seem to have lost your material body and only survived through fragments of precious stones that hold pieces of your soul. Only a shaman can communicate with you. So lucky day as one of those fragments has just been found. You talk to the shaman and explain how you will need a pillar to raise back to power. He's willing to help. He'll have to sacrifice himself to get you stronger because the first thing we want as a god is for our people to kill themselves for us. <laughs> That's clearly a joke, okay? <laughs> Ooh, actually this is a fantastic start. We get a we get a key deposit here, which is amazing. We have our beautiful shaman who's unfortunately going to have to sacrifice himself for me because well that's what he does, but it's okay, you know, he will ascend to a higher level and he will become one with me. So it's not like he's losing. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. So we have four main resources. We have mana. Mana is a base resource that's gonna be fine on tops. It's mainly used for units and improvements upkeep. The upkeep here is pretty important. Then we have fragments. You need fragments in order to build pillars or to increase areas around pillars. Then we have key and jade. Both of these are used to get some special units. So we're gonna need some key. Uh, we can get some key here in this key deposit. The first thing we should do is we should build a pillar. So we can look at where can we place a pillar and we can see what kind of stuff we can get. So for example, if I place the pillar over here, I'll get 10 food, 11 production and eight mana. Now you might notice that we didn't really talk about production and food yet. So production and food allows you to create new units which but you create the units from a specific pillar so it's kind of like for the unit specifically that's why it's not over the top here because it's specific for that pillar so it's a pretty good place 10 12 9 that's actually pretty fantastic can i get anything better anywhere wait could i get a yeah here i could get 11 mana oh we gotta place this here 11 mana is huge so my shaman is going to go there and he's going to oh actually no i, I shouldn't build the oh yeah i can build a pillar on the deposit so we're gonna place it over here. It's gonna be fine. Okay, go there and make it, please. Thank you. He shall now build the pillar for me. And in his name, we shall name the pillar, the shaman's pillar. You can name the pillar, but you know, we would have. Next up, we're gonna pick research. Okay, first. Your consciousness awakens without any memory. You seem to have lost your material body and only... Okay, yeah, we already read that. So we're gonna go to research and we can pick our research. So the most important research in the beginning is this resource extraction, which allows us the building of catalyst to extract key or jade. So this is super important. We'll do that first. Once we finish that, I'm going to go over with you over the other research so we can talk about what we can get. But the first and most important is this thing. So we're going to start it and we're going to move towards the next turn. This is a turn based game. So a pillar has now been built. Shaman sacrifice will not be in vain. Your consciousness emerges and resonates through the natural structure. People gather around it, worshipping you already. Worship the other dragon or you will die. We're a very cool god, apparently. 
To go your power, you need to find a source of energy. Explore the land with your units and find key or jade deposits. We'll do that, don't worry about it. So, we have this little pillar that gives us 10 food per turn, 12 production and mana. Now, food is used to increase population, production is used to build stuff, and mana is to keep units and building up and running. We also have a current population, so now we have a population of mana. That means I could put one extra person on one of these tiles and increase what it gives to me. So, for example, if I give some population over to here, I will now be getting a little bit more food and a little bit more mana per turn. So that's a pretty good idea. If I put it here, I get a little bit more food, a little bit more. So this is a little bit more everything. So we're going to place it over there. Aside from that, you can also tell the pillar to build something. More specifically, we can summon a scout unit, summon a shaman, or expand. We don't want to, well, actually, we could expand because we have the first, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to start this off with a shaman. Since we have the extra fragments from the, from the Azure Dragon, we can actually build more pillars. Otherwise, you start with just one pillar, so it's going to take a little while before we get more. But now we can do it a little bit better because we are the Azur Dragon. So we can see now we have 10 mana because we got that extra stuff. Your scouts have now located a source of energy. The deposit holds the energy that will be needed for your power to expand. To extract strategic resources, you'll need to study how energy works in Tian, the realm of the gods. Once you've researched the resource extraction technology, you'll be able to build a catalyst and get some of these precious resources. Yeah, it's alright. We're studying on the catalyst already. Now we are working on getting a shaman. It's going to take a few turns. Once we get the shaman, the shaman is the person that can create a deposit. So he's going to move over here and create deposits. Now it's important that your deposits are close to your pillar because the closer they are to your pillar, the more resource they give you. Resource extraction has been researched. Allow the building of catalyst to extract security in the locks canal. So let's check out other research that we have. So we can get here food gathering, study the realm to find sources of food, which is going to give us granary, which Im improves the output of food tiles by one. So that means that when we have the pillar, over here we can build an extra granary which is going to give us extra food per turn which is quite nice um, alternatively we could go to wood cutting techniques will give you as better infrastructure so it's going to give us more production so we can build stuff faster with the pillar then we can have astrology which is going to give us extra mana this is what i'm going to put to the queue first as i quite like that then here we have scientists scientists can do multiple things scientists can first of all they can help you with pollution, which we'll talk about more in a second. I believe they can also somehow give you faster research, though I'm not 100% sure on that one. Then we get a chariot unit, we definitely want to do that, so we're going to put it in the queue as well. And we could get archers, the chariots are kind of better than the archers. Forging actions of fragments. Okay, we'll put that in the queue as well, and then we'll continue with maybe some of the woodcutting and... Uh, Food gathering. The reason why I want the uh, the food gathering and the food cut uh, wood cutting, I'm putting it there, is because units cost quite a lot per turn of the mana. So we want to make sure that first of all you have enough mana to get the units, but also um, you might not want to make a unit. And then if you're not making a unit, you still want your pillar to do something. So in those cases, I like to make sure it builds like granary or food cutting stuff to speed up. Also, we're going to add, we have more population. So we can now just like add people somewhere just to make a little bit more stuff of everything. So we can, we now have 10.5 mana per turn. Now we have this beautiful shaman. So I'm going to tell this shaman, hey man, go over here. So he's just stand there and make me a catalyst. Cost me three mana. And this is going to give me, I think it's a jade deposit, I believe. It's going to take a couple turns, but it's going to give me jade per turn, so we can then use jade to get a special units. A pillar has an empty will Yeah, okay, so, yeah, of course. So because uh, we finished the shaman, now it's going to tell you, like, hey, your pillar is not doing anything. Tell it to do something. So this is why I was saying, like, sometimes you don't want to make a unit. In that case, you might instead want to do, like, the granary and stuff. Right now, however, I'm going to grab a scout, because we need scouts quite a bit. They're going to help us sort of discover things on the map. And move through the area so our beautiful scout now this is pollution so we're gonna need a scientist because this will pollute the area around here which then makes it if if the tile gets too polluted i think it's like if 10 10 turns i believe it stays polluted for 10 turns then uh it's not going to give you anything anymore so you we really got to start working on a scientist so that actually means in the research we couldn't we should now go to the scientist which is this 
And we're going to put it first to the queue because this is now super important. I need a scientist ASAP to get rid of the pollution. Otherwise, I am in kind of trouble. We're going to tell the scout to go over here to this question mark because that's going to allow us to get some extra stuff. So let's move towards the next time. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm not doing anything here. Let's get another scout, uh, another shaman. Sorry, because if you get another shaman, we can... Um, not another pillar. Your catalyst has been built and now you start receiving strategic resources which will fuel your energy to your pillar. The power will be monitored for your consciousness to grow, but you should be careful not to overexploit the deposits. So, yeah, okay. The goodies Nova seems interested by your sudden rise to the awakening. She holds precious information about your past and will cause your loss of power and memory. Find the goddess on the east part of the map and get her to talk. Now, the, the important thing is that very soon after you talk to her, you're gonna get enemy units, so you wanna be kinda of prepped for that a little bit. Uh, we're gonna move towards the east though to try to find her. This is our map, as you can see. Last time she was kinda of in the middle of the map, so we might wanna move over there. So this shaman. We could go over here and get another jade deposit. Alright, so we click on the on the deposit. He, oh, it's actually key, not jade, sorry. So, and we can pick the extraction rate. We can have low, medium, or high. The problem is that it generates pollution, so I'm going to go for low, which is going to give us 0 0.5 uh, key per turn, which is actually quite fine, and it's not going to give us any pollution, because I, I think it's a pretty good number, that's okay. We're going to grab this shaman, and we're going to move him over, because I want to find, if I could find another deposit, I would like to create another pillar here. It's this, and this is not a deposit, okay. that is a deposit though. So this shaman could go over here and get me another pillar there, and that would give me a lot of bonuses for this one. In the meantime, the scout will reveal this point of interest, and we have found another source of pollution. This is not great. Scout, move along. I need you to go to around there and to find the other goddess. And we're gonna move to the next turn. How are we doing on the research with the scientist? Not quite finished yet. This is not a deposit, not a deposit, okay. So I'm thinking we could build a pillar around here, something that gives me a lot of mana. The mana seems to be the most important thing to me, so I think we'll go with the... Oh, we could get 9 here, but again, that's on the deposit, we don't want... Oh, 13 here. I don't know if you can have the deposit within the area of the pillar. Yeah, I don't think we can do it, so we're gonna place it over here. 11 is still pretty great. 9, 11, 11, so if you go there... This scout is going to move in that direction, and this pillar is going to build me another thing. That's great. Another shaman who can then go and make a, another deposit over here. Alita found observant techniques to understand the world. It unlocks a scientist. Yes, we need it. Now, this beautiful shaman man, go over there and make me a catalyst. Another one. Go. Go, baby, go. Now, this, you're going to make the pillar. The scout is keeping moving in that direction. You want to keep it on the scout in case there's a question mark point somewhere. You want to focus on that. Now we are researching the mana next, that's fine, and then the chariots, the attacking units, that's okay, I'm fine with that. And this pillar should now make a scientist. It costs three per turn though to get a scientist. We're gonna do it because I wanna get rid of the pollution. Like that's important to me. We can also have a lot more population, so let's try working on that a little bit. And see so we make 11 mana per turn here, but because of the upkeep we only actually get seven up there. So you're making the catalyst, you are working on the pillar, you've got a science point, uh, sorry, a uh, point of interest, go there. And that's about it. We build another catalyst. Over here, that's great. We have finished the observatory, so we're gonna build observatory over here, which is gonna give us, it costs one mana per turn, but it's gonna give plus five mana to the pillar and plus one mana for each tile, I guess, okay. Now you, beautiful scientist, come here and fix this pollution. Stand on an active source of pollution to tame it. Go. I want you to do that. Now this shaman, I would like you to make more pillars. So there is a deposit here. Yeah, J deposit. So this shaman is going to go over there and make a pillar there. And you, your job is to make a catalyst over here go for it wait did you not make the pillar we we're supposed to make a pillar why didn't you do it i can't is it some water okay i, I can make it okay sorry i misclicked that you need to uncover the the point of interest 
<laughs> we just keep getting sources of pollution now. Okay, you just keep moving. You gotta find that goddess. Goddess Nova, I'm coming for you. And they're all moving, that's good. This guy's making the pillar, I need that. You need to move further towards this. This is the source of the pollution. These are just polluted tile and hopefully they can remove that. And you should be moving over there, okay. I think that's it, but just keep going. A pillar has been built. Okay, this beautiful pillar now gives us stuff. So you make another observatory here. Oh, we now get 25%. That is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, you also need to make me... You know what? Make me a shaman. No, I don't need a shaman. J just make an observatory. Okay. You... Make me a scout. I want a scout. Now, this scientist, please, tame this pollution. Scientist is a tamed source of pollution. Thank you. You can also stand on a, on a deposit to evaluate it. Uh, we're gonna have to try that. I'm not quite sure. I think it helps with the pollution that the deposit creates. But I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so we can, I can now get chariots, which are attacking units, which is fantastic. We also need to unlock two more technologies and then we can move to the next level, which I would like as well. Where's my scout? Scout, go to this point of interest. You as a shaman... Go over there to get that catalyst. And here we could finally make a chariot. Uh, yeah, we'll do a chariot. Um, do we get it? Yeah, let's get rid of the scout. Just make a chariot straight up. Fine. You can also choose a rally point, which essentially we're choosing where they're gonna go, so we're gonna tell them to go over there. Now you are moving over there, that's great. We are moving to a source, a point of interest, so check it out. <laughs> pollution again. Sometimes you get the good stuff like items, but apparently this time we are just cursed with pollution. Even though we are being very nice and we are not actually doing any pollution, we just like everything else is just like super polluting. So, oh, you have to lower your stuff. You. What about you? Didn't I already tame this one? Tame it again. We will tame it again, I guess. We should move over there afterwards and tame this. To do that. You shaman, keep moving. Also, one of these pillars should make me a shaman. So I can get another deposit over there. So let's move towards the next one, see what happens. Okay, observatory has been built. Great. Master the power of fire. We get a forge, so we can actually get more fragments. So you should reveal this point of interest. So we get attack plus dice. So I haven't have to actually found where you can see the items you have, but it helps you in combat, which we're hopefully going to get to eventually. Okay, this is a gate for enemies, so that's something we want to watch out for, but I don't think it's activated yet. You, oh, you can tame this pollution? Okay, fine. You go to, to a deposit and evaluate it then. We're getting another, uh, well, our first chariot, really. And you are getting me that shaman, that's fine. You keep very slowly moving towards your... there. Towards the deposits. Oh yeah, we were gonna stop here because we were gonna make a pillar. Okay, so we'll place a pillar... Oh, 15 there. And then we're gonna place a jade deposit over there. Okay, that's fine. Select pillar, you make me a shaman. Now, you can look at my beautifully attacking unit. So we have a chariot. We're going to move it up here as we don't seem to be getting attacked from below. And we're going to need a lot more of those. Now, I don't know if we care so much about woodcutting and farms now. Oh, we need one more of those. So we're going to go with woodcutting. And then I'm going to try to get better, better chariot units. I think that'd be nice. Yeah, I think that'd be very nice. So go to research. We're going to get rid of this. I don't want that. Remove from Q and we'll go for Horse Rider. And then unlock the tame action for scientists. Uh, creatures are willing to join. We need a portal to summon them. Oh yeah, let's go with that. Can we research this? And we could get the unit unique to dragon, the Shiazi unlocks the Shiazi creature. Oh yeah. Let's get that going. I'm not really getting any jade, so we gotta work on that soon. 
This guy's gonna make the pillar. You have a shaman here. You create a catalyst over there, and then we're gonna make another catalyst over there, so we can get the jade unit as well. You are fine. Okay, you just stay there. And can this army on the current tile? Sure. No, actually, we we don't want we don't want to end the turn yet. We want to look at my scout. Okay, so we found her. That's fantastic. So if we talk to her, we're gonna have to first bribe her with some stuff and then we can get enemies. So before I do that, actually, okay, so in order to talk to her, you need to have a shaman go up there. So first of all, I need to make more shaman. So you make me another shaman. Because we're gonna need a lot of those. You need to be cranking up chariots like crazy. Now this beautiful shaman, that shaman's making the deposit. Uh, and the shaman is going to be making a deposit here, so you are the one who's going to talk to the beautiful goddess. Off you go. End of turn. Pillar has been built. Great. You make me... Forge, sawmill... Make me just chariots. We need those. We need those a lot. Okay, uh, this deposit that's going to be created will need... Uh, we need to make sure that it doesn't really pollute anything. Get Elixir of Life. Nice. End the turn. I think the chariots can move up since we know that the Gate of Evil is over here. That means the enemy are going to be coming from there. So we could move this little these chariots over there as well. Now this shaman is moving up there. That's fine. The other shaman, you should make a catalyst over here. Go over there. Get there. We're going to set this to low so we don't generate any pollution. And what about you, scientists? You can evaluate, get the amount of resources left available to, to extract from the deposit. Okay, so we have 300 units of key left. That's a lot of units. Now let's go try to find some more sources of pollution and tame them, I guess, with him. Not much more for me to do with him. You are going somewhere. You are going somewhere. You are not going anywhere. You could make me another pillar up there. So grab a pillar and build it here. And then you make me another chariot. And you're already working on the chariot. Good. Go. Alright. Everybody's moving very, very slowly. Everywhere we need them to. Now this scout is just gonna keep scouting because he can't talk to her. We need a shaman to talk to her. So the scout's just like, eh, I'm just gonna walk around. I don't really see you. This other chariot is gonna go and join my other group. And we still need more. Like we need all the chariots we can get. Do we want to build a sawmill to make them go faster? I don't think so. I think we're just gonna crank up the units. That's what I want right now. Give me all the units. Okay, equipment to make better use of horses and unlocks a horse rider. Okay, so you make a horse rider instead. It has upkeep of four though, which is a lot. You need to go there, that's fine. You, what, what are you making? You are making a chariot shirt, do that. Get a horse riders after. Sorry for the cut. I um, moved a few turns ahead, but then I got some bug where I couldn't just I couldn't end the turn. So I reloaded a little bit. I'm going to try to send some of these further up there. Yeah, next to this guy and you as well. And we're gonna send the shamans to the pillar. And this shaman is gonna make the deposit. Yeah, okay. And that's it. All right, so we get an enemy scout over here. So ideally, we'd like to send somebody. Yeah, like you, go there and fight him. I feel like that. Okay, we can also attack this. So we can... After the end of this turn, we're going to go and we're going to attack that specific... Uh, the, the portal. We can tell the pillar to just do whatever. Maybe, I don't know. Sawmill, so it would increase production. And now we're going to fight. So in the fighting, we have our attack, our speed, speed determines who goes first, in our health, we have 25, he has no attack, so he can really hurt us. And we can choose to attack, defend, or escape. So we're going to choose to attack. And we can pick a target, so our target is, um, well, we're going to click on ourselves and then on them, but the thing is, you can click on the target here and then click on them. 
We only have one enemy, so it's going to be pretty easy. We can make an auto target, so it's going to automatically target the right person. And we have rolled an attack, so we, this is our option. We get four chances to attack, one to block and one to miss. And then he had his own chances. So we're going to again attack, continue, we're going to auto target. Now this time he missed the action, so that's a little unfortunate, but it's okay. He managed to block all enemy attacks until the next dice resolve, so it didn't really matter that we messed it up. And we shall keep going. So we, yes, yeah, so we get attack again. Now because the enemy cannot do anything right now, this fight is not really that interesting. But as soon as we're going to fight that scout, you're actually going to see that we can actually do stuff. So that's going to be a little bit more fun. But we do want to stop the portal from like spawning more enemies. So you can also in the beginning of the fight click on auto battle, which means that the combat will be auto resolved, and we will well, win because they cannot hurt us, as we know. If you don't click Outer Battle at the beginning, you can't seem to go to Outer Battle later on. So we have blocked the portal. Now they cannot come at us. We're just going to stay over there. And this guy keeps making that. And we're going to move the chariot over here to fight that scout. Okay. So your army, uh, we don't want to fight the portal yet. We want you to attack. Ah, uh, the scout moves so we can fight him. That's a little unfortunate. So we're gonna have to keep fighting against the portal, okay? Again, they're not doing anything, they have 20 health, so we're gonna say this outer combat, we have won. And we have completely destroyed the portal, that's quite nice. And you, can you fight him? I don't think we can fight him yet. Okay, yes we can, great. Army has been engaged in the fight. Now again, we could have multiple units, right now we have just one. They have 5 attack and 7 speed, only 11 health, so it's gonna be pretty easy for us. We're gonna click. We're gonna pick a target this guy and we can hit him let's see what he does he is attacking us as well we however yeah we went first that's okay we'll keep on attacking there's no need to run away target him and we shall just bam dead yeah so the speed is pretty important to determine who goes first because if he kills you before you can do anything you're in trouble and of course um uh, we need to talk to the lady. Okay, we're gonna, okay, so we have researched the special units. So we could now go to here. We actually can't go to here yet. But we could. Ooh, we can eventually summon ourselves in realm. That's quite nice. So let's work on a on an archer maybe. And then a crossbowman after we're done with that. So now we should be able to call for these special units. Can we? Yeah, small portal. Okay, so we, we want to build a small portal somewhere. Let's build a small portal here. Let's see what that will do. And our shaman... Where, where's my shaman? You. You need to go and talk to her. Okay, so we get enemy chariots. We're gonna send this chariot to fight that chariot. So that's gonna be interesting. Unfortunately, yeah, we're gonna get another horse rider very soon. So this pillar, get me um, observatory maybe. Enemy has started sieging your catalyst. Now my catalyst can't really do anything. We can set up to defense, but we're gonna lose. So we're gonna just out to combat this. I lowered my HP down to five, but they did not destroy me. So hopefully we can destroy them before they dare to hurt me. I also have a horse rider. We're gonna send him to fight as well. So end my turn. Select, okay, uh, this horse rider, by the way, should go there as well. Here, we're just gonna try to get a no, not portal. Here, we want to get a sawmill. Here, did we build a portal? Yes, so now, no, we, we are still working on that. Okay, and here we are doing that. Okay, we're fine. Okay, we shall now fight. So, we have our chariot against their chariot. We do slightly less damage than they do, actually. So either way, we're gonna try to attack. Ooh, we gotta, we gotta block. Okay, so at least they can't hurt us. I, I mean, we can auto target. There's no point clicking it. But they hurt me anyway. In the block. Unfortunate. Okay, well, we'll keep attacking. We have fate in ourselves. What are they doing? Yeah, we hit them nicely. This time let's try to defend. 
So you have two chances to successfully defend and four chances to miss the action, which is a little unfortunate. But yeah, we missed, but luckily they weren't hitting us. That's fine. We'll keep attacking again. We hit them. But the problem is they go first, so if they hit me, we're dead. But at least we got their HP pretty low. Yeah, we're dead. Okay. We didn't manage to defend, we're dead. That's fine. Now my shaman is still not close enough to talk to her, so we're just gonna have to go that way. And my horse unit. Oh yeah, so now we have two horse riders here, so hopefully they can both attack that him, which would be cool. Uh, select a pillar. We wanna make. What do we wanna make? Okay, now here we can start making killing. Use your god's energy to summon a killing, a raven, uh, or a shiazi. So let's get a killing. I'm not sure what killing does, but let's try to get one because it seems cool. Like a flying dragon, I love that. And we're gonna keep fighting. So, health points 9, 11. So now we have two different. So we can attack. We're gonna attack with both, I think. So we're gonna target this. Both of my units, and we can just destroy them. Yeah, it's just it. They have no chance against me, against my two beautiful riders. Okay, there they have chariots over here, so we should probably go and fight those. If we can. And I'd really like to get that killing unit. Select pillar, make me a horse rider. Observatory has been built. Good. Pillar, make another horse rider. And research wise, let's work on Crossbow then. Now, did we get here? Yeah, one more turn till we, till we get killing. Oh, they're gonna hit my lonely thing. We're gonna out to combat this because we're gonna die, but at least we did some damage. Tactics and strategies are develop, developed to improve warfare. It unlocks crossbowmen. Yeah. You would like my. Okay, so if you have three units here. Oh, it's a shaman, shaman, and a chariot. That's not great. So we'll grab the shaman, tell him to go talk to her. You go join them up. Okay, now this is a four unit. The shaman's going elsewhere, but everybody else will hopefully. I like the chariot. Good. Go this way. Okay. And you can stay where you are, and the horseman should. You should join up with this guy. And we got the Gilane. Let's look at that. What do you do? I think you can fight, so we just go and try to fight this. We'll see if we can... Actually, we should really just like meet up with the rest of our army. We could. That'd be really nice. And we'll get... I don't know, let's get crossbowmen. Yeah, they're, they're gonna kill us. How to combat this. Yeah. I wanna see how strong this unit is. So we get four of these. Oh, the chaman just did not... I don't know how to... Yeah, remove unit. Okay, so now we remove that chaman. So the three of you could move this way. And the shaman... I can see the click on it. Okay. Close, yeah, yeah. I just want to fight these guys. Yeah. Even though technically we should wait for my other units, I just want to see how the fight goes. So we have 15 attack and 9 speed. So we should be able to very easily kill them with this. So who do you want to do 15 damage on? I think they're gonna go for these guys so they can hit me. Yeah, these guys are dead. Right? Yeah, okay, great. And we should easily win against this one. I'm gonna auto target now. So they'll hit me for 10. Oh yeah. They go first, but they can't kill me. Because they... And they're blocking, so they can't do anything, actually. Oh, this is a great unit. Really fantastic. Beautiful. Okay, so I think that's it for Fantastic Creatures. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments. And you can click on the right top to watch me Let's Play Fantasy General 2. Or you can click on the right bottom to watch Ecosystem. I'll see you in one of those. Bye-bye.